What's up, YouTube? It's Credit Guy Frank here coming to you today with yet again another video. All right, now today I want to give you guys a straight up gem since we've been talking a lot about real estate and things like that. This is a zero money down way to jump into real estate and not just jump into real estate, but literally make just as much as the people who are investing and also who are agents in real estate. Okay, now this method can bring you literally thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands. And some people has even scaled this business up to millions of dollars. Okay. Some people look at it as an introductory way into real estate, which is cool. I'm all about being effective and understanding the game. All right. So with wholesaling, which is what we're going to talk about today with wholesale real estate, it allows you to understand all the parts of real estate or purchasing a property in general. Okay, so I'm going to start from the beginning and I'm going to teach you guys briefly about how to wholesale. This is actually what I started to do when I got into real estate because I didn't have money at the time. And then once credit and everything got rolling, it was a no brainer for me. Okay, so in order to wholesale, there's a few things that you need to do. Okay, and there's also a few things that you need to learn. Okay, now wholesaling is basically to sum everything up. It's you're the middleman in a transaction, okay? A lot of people do not realize how many opportunities are in the real estate market. For instance, foreclosures, pre-foreclosures, liens, absentee owners, okay? Meaning people who own properties that are living somewhere else, all right? Now, if you're not you know, aware of how real estate works, okay? If you live somewhere else, if you're an absentee owner and you're older, which happens a lot, right? There are so many people who literally do not want to have or maintain a property out of state anymore for different reasons. They may be older, okay? Somebody, if let's say somebody passed away, all right? And if somebody's father or mom passed away, they're in a whole nother state, all right? They don't, they don't have anything to do with the property. They don't want the property. Okay, so if they can sell it fast, then that's going to be very, very, very beneficial for them because it's kind of like a burden. Okay, you got to keep up with the grass. You got to just do a lot of different things. Okay, also foreclosures, right? So if I don't have the money for the property, then not only am I going to lose this property, but this property is actually going to negatively affect my credit, as you all know, right? So foreclosures, liens, people not paying taxes and different things like that. Okay, so in any neighborhood, there's always that house that's like an eyesore, right? We kind of overlook it because we're looking at the best houses in the neighborhood. But in a lot of neighborhoods, in most neighborhoods, there are vacant properties. There are properties with tall grass. There are properties where, you know, you see the, the mail falling out of the mailbox, right? So there's a lot of different uh, distressed properties that you can find in your area or in another area or hot market. Okay. Now, like I said, again, this is called wholesale real estate. Okay. Now think of this. If I'm going in foreclosure, okay, I have to be or pay this by the end of the month or they're going to take my property. What would you rather do? Would you rather go just strictly through foreclosure or would you rather somebody come and help you not only take care of the mortgage, but also be able to give you some funds to move over and still make the deal right for an investor, okay? So with wholesaling, you're not purchasing the property, okay? This is all contract-based. Now, you sign or get someone to sign a contract that give you the rights to sell the property, okay? But you as a wholesaler in real estate, you will not own the property yourself, okay? So like I said, if I can't afford it, or if you can't afford it, right? It's much better to have it or hand it to somebody who can afford it, right? Or who can close the deal. And it's not gonna go on your credit. Actually, it's gonna show up as paid. And also, you're gonna have some money to actually move, okay? So with wholesaling and buying block back the block, or, you know, there's a lot of different slogans for it. Gentrification, you know, it goes on a lot, right? That is literally the way to get into real estate. They make a lot of money, okay? Now, there's a few things that you need to learn when you're doing real estate 
in general, okay? You need to learn what an ARV is. Now that's an after repair value, okay? On a property, meaning if I fix this property up, how much is this property worth, okay? Usually a full $200,000, $250,000 home probably costs about fifteen dollars to $25,000 to fix, okay? And that's very, very, very basic depending on what do you need, okay? A new renovation includes new floors, new windows, new paint, new kitchen, new bathroom, okay? I know plenty of people got grandmothers or aunts, cousins, sisters, whatever, right? They go and refinance the house. What are they going to do? Fix their kitchen. What are they going to do? Fix their bathroom, right? Makes the property value go up. So you'll be comparing the property that's distressed to the property in the area or the property closest to it with the same amount of bedrooms, bathrooms, and square footage. You don't want to compare a four-bedroom property with a two-bedroom property. You don't want to compare a property with three bathrooms to a property with one and a half bathrooms. You don't want to compare a property that's 1,500 square feet to another property with 900 square feet, okay? So you want to make sure that everything correlates and that will tell you the ARV of the property, okay? Now, why is that important to know how much this property is worth? Because, now pay attention guys, because I'm about to start dropping some gems, all right? Drop anything in the comments if you need to know or you have any questions or if it's something that you feel like I left out, something that you're interested in, of course, you can always contact me. Drop them comments below also, all right? Now, so it's very, very important that you know the after repair value of the property because that's going to dictate what the investor is paying or is going to pay or what makes sense, okay? Investors operate under a 70-30 rule. 70 30 rule meaning if this property is worth a hundred thousand fixed up okay if i can get this property for fifty thousand or let's say no if i can get this property under contract for forty thousand okay let's say they owe ten thousand on it fifteen thousand all right i get this property for thirty thousand 40,000 on the contract. What that means is that 15,000 is now paid. The seller gets to walk away with $25,000, okay? Remember, they owe 15 on the mortgage. I'm buying it for 40, all right? They get 25. Now they get to move and get to find a new place, okay? This burden is now off of their shoulders, so that's a win for them, all right? I know it costs $20,000 to fix up this house, max. Okay, so I build that into the 40,000, okay? So that's 60,000, all right? That's for the investor. I know I wanna make 10,000, okay? Now we're at 70,000. Now I made 10,000, they made 25,000. Now the investor has a property that he knows that he can buy for 50,000 and all he has to do is put in 20,000, which is 70,000 total. And now it's worth 100,000 due to the ARV in that neighborhood or the closest comp, which means comparable house or comparable property in that neighborhood. Does that make sense? All right, so it's a win, win, win. That's all we do, okay? I'm not gonna give you anything that's gonna have you losing. And guess what? Nobody spent money except the investor, all right? And most investors such as myself, we don't want to do the boot work. All right, once you reach a certain level, you don't want to do the boot work. But it's a lot of money in the boot work, if you know what you're doing. It's a lot of money in the boot work, all right? Which means basically, you know, you're just doing everything, which is finding the deal. Most investors, they don't want to go and actually talk to the seller, find out why or what's going on with the property, okay? Which is another key thing. I know you want to say, well, okay, well, how are we going to contact the sellers, okay? Now... What you can do is you can actually skip trace their phone number using their address, okay? I will show you guys how to do this. If you need me to, of course, all you have to do is just contact me. I'll literally just show you or send you exactly where to go and you will easily learn or know how to do it, okay? So you skip trace it, boom, and then from an address, you can get the phone number as well, all right? That's a major gem. 
Now, if you, there's two things that you could do, okay? You can drive around, spend about two hours, right? Driving around, smoke, talk to your significant other, who cares, right? You could drive around and you can find distressed properties, look for tall grass, look for mail hanging out the mailbox, look for, you know, uh, broken windows, things like that. Those are gems. I know you guys heard this before, like, you know, those houses are gems. You just got to know what to do with them, okay? Now, you can skip trace those phone numbers and you can contact the sellers, okay? Now, there's an art to negotiating, all right? <laughs> I know this method, so don't try to use this method on me, but there's an art to negotiating. Now, if I know I want something for 75000 and you want it for 100 I know I'm going to go in and say, uh, can I get it for 50000 Right? Even though I want it for seventy five, because you're gonna be like fifty thousand. Are you crazy? Ninety thousand. I'm like, dang, ninety thousand. Let's do all right. Let's do sixty, sixty five. All right. And you'll be like, bro, I'm not gonna do sixty, sixty five, bro. Like literally, I'm not going no lower than eighty, eighty five. All right. And I'm like, all right, seventy five thousand. You got a deal. See what see what just happened there? You're always gonna meet in the middle. Okay. If you know they want this. Whatever number you want, right? You want to make sure you go below that to where y'all can meet and it'll make sense for the both of you all, okay? That's the art of negotiating. Most people pull up to a $200,000 house and they don't negotiate nothing. They just, you, they going to pay asking price for it. And you're not walking in with any equity, all right? You want to make sure that you have equity in this property. That's super important. The equity in the property will allow you to buy another home, upgrade that home for cheaper, Amount. It'll allow you to do whatever it is that you want to do. Remember, guys, money really isn't real, okay? It's not. That's why credit is important. That's why equity is important, all right? That's why investing is important. But before you can invest in things, you have to make sure you invest in yourself, okay? Now, another gem I'm going to drop on you guys is PropStream.com. PropStream.com. Okay, this is a service that you can sign up for. It is about a hundred dollars a month, but guess what? You get all of the MLS data, you get all of the foreclosures, pre foreclosures, not just in your area, any area, any market. Okay, pre foreclosures, liens, absentee owners. All right, this software is extremely powerful. And how do they know who's the absentee owners, right? Well, you'll find that out. But what it does is it's integrated with the mail system. So after the mailman come, and it's been about 10 to 15 days, and there's my mail just stuffed in the, the mailbox, it shows that nobody's there. So now that property is on the absentee owners list, okay? So that's a quick gem for you guys. So you guys can know exactly where to go, skip trace the number, contact the seller, negotiate the deal, and literally have a property under contract. OK, now, if you want to do it that way, that's great. The way I used to do it is I would always go to the investors in my area. I know a lot of people, so it wasn't hard for me, but you can do the same thing. I'm just not scared to talk to people. All right. If it's something that I want to do, I'm not going to wait. I'm gonna be like, yo, I need you. I need your help to do whatever it is that I need to do, period. I'm, what I'm going to wait for, because if I ain't did it, then I ain't going to do it. Right. So I'm going to get somebody who did it or is doing it and I'm going to offer or ask for, you know, their help. And if there's anything that I can do and throughout, throughout that process, best believe I'm going to be on it. Right. That's just me, though. So I went to the investors first, say, hey, what kind of property are you looking for? Because I don't want to bring you nothing you don't want. Right. You looking for a two bedroom. You're looking for a three bedroom. Most investors, they're looking for a two hundred thousand dollar, two hundred fifty thousand dollar house or less. All right. Because that's a, a better game It's Sitting on a four, five, six hundred thousand dollar property is, uh, you know what I mean? So it's a lot easier to sell those properties after they fix them up. And a lot of fixing flippers and things like that, they don't really like wholesalers because the wholesalers are the ones who get down and dirty and actually go and cut the prices of the deal because they're they're the ones negotiating, right? Most fixing flippers, by the time it gets to them, they just putting their money into the property, 
Okay, so this is why wholesalers is very important and it's a great way or great introductory way into real estate because you understand the seller side, you understand the customer side, and you also understand the buyer side. You also understand the market, all right? It sounds like a lot, it's really not. But of course, if you need anything, all right? And of course, I always recommend that you also do your own research, not on just what I said, but other things that you'll find, all right? Now, if you need anything, of course, you can contact me. My info is below. I'm still dropping on y'all, man. I still have unlimited knowledge to give to you all. I'm literally giving it away, man. If you need anything, like I said, of course, hit me up. Credit Guy Frank here coming to you today with yet again another video. Drop them comments if you're confused. If you know what I'm talking about, this is motivational. If you like the real estate portion, if you like the credit portion, if you like the cash plays, just let me know, man. Let's get it.